welcome back to another video for your fashion makeup and skincare tips. I am a certified makeup artist and I am working to get my esthetician license in the state of Oregon. This video, like all my other videos, are just for fun. So anyway, let's get right on into it. So anyway, in today's video, I am going to go through my makeup tricks. At least some of them. Because some of them, some of those products I do not use anymore. And I probably don't need to keep. I'm going to start here with my eyeliner stuff. I am going to get rid I, I know I just bought this, but I bought the Doja Cat Goddess from BHA Cosmetics. I really don't like this. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It's green. I did not realize it was green. I'm going to put it over my eyeliner that I have now, so it's going to look a little weird. Like, do you see that? Like, it's like... It's green. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's not... bad. It just, uh... I don't know. I just don't like how it looks. Give me a second, someone's calling. Alright, anyway, as I was saying, I, uh, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it just kind of, like, I feel like it's a little dirty. I just don't like how it looks. I, I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, yeah, and then I'm keeping these. I use this as my eyebrow gel, and then this is, this is one of my favorite brow products to use. The Maybelline Express Brow. Love this. I am definitely keeping this as my favorite eyeliner ever. It's the L'Oreal Flash Cat uh, eyeliner, I think. Love this one. It's my all-time favorite eyeliner to use. And anyway, that's that drawer's done. So, I'm going to put that one off to the side. Okay. Now, next, I have all my, like, highlighters, my bronzers. Awesome, and some of this stuff is on, like, on the side because I was wearing it today. But I am definitely keeping my Maybelline Master Pro Metallic Highlighter. This stuff is just so amazing. It is so beautiful. Like, look, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but look at it. It's so pretty. Probably don't need to keep that on my finger, though. Another one of my favorite products. The Wet Wild Hello Halo Blush and Highlighter Palette right here. This stuff. Love it. Like, it looks so good. And it's only like, it was only like four or five bucks. It's just so nice. Okay. Now, if anyone knows me, they know that I love NYX makeup. Because for one, it's, it's relatively cheap and they come up with some good ass products. This NYX Born to, Glo Born, uh, Born to Glow Icy Highlighter. Oh my god. Like, looks so beautiful. So gorgeous. Definitely recommend that. And then also by Wet n Wild, they're just a bronzer. Love this. It just kind of makes me. It, it's a natural looking bronzer. Because some bronzer wear like, makes me look like, uh, you know, like I, I took a poo poo on myself. Because I'm very fair skinned. But this, that one is like, looks so nice. And then one of my favorite highlighters, and I've used this for a while, is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. Yes, like this product, like it's just, it's so nice and it's so, so beautiful. It just also kind of gives that natural kind of looking glow, more than like, you know, like going all out. Like it, it just looks really natural when you put on your makeup, so. So all of that I'm keeping. I don't tend to get rid of that stuff. Okay. Now, on to foundations and stuff. And sorts. Oh, God. Okay. Probably gonna throw out my old BB cream. This is practically out. It was, it's a good, it was a good run, but, um, I'm not, I'm not keeping that. But I am going to be keeping the new BB cream I got, which is the Maybelline Dream BB Tear. This is the new one I'll be using, so. Definitely. I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Then I have 
I have another one of these, but this the CoverGirl Queen Fresh Skin Milk. Not my favorite product, but it definitely just kind of gets the job done on the weekends when I'm looking for products to use. So, I'm keeping that. That's my backup one for when my alarm runs out. Okay, anyone who also knows me knows I love ColourPop. ColourPop has some of the best products I have ever, I have ever fucking tried. I love them. I love ColourPop. And this is their pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer. I use this as my contour when I contour my face. So this, this is just my go-to for my contour. Okay, now I use the my Revlon one for my highlighter. This is a, like one of the only concealers I found that does not make me like like look way too bright under this. Like I don't, I have dark circles. I don't need to look that bright. I going bright is good. But if you like that, there's no problem. I just don't need to go that bright. All right, and then the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations because it really just gives me that nice, dewy, natural look that I really like, so. Another favorite foundation, the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. This is just, it's like it really just conceals well. So I don't have to put concealer on. I mean, I still sometimes do, but not that much. And then my backup for my concealer when I run out. So even though I like NYX and I like this product, it's a nice product. I might not keep it because, like, I really don't wear it very often. Also, I don't really have any acne I really need to cover up or anything. You know, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I am still keeping this for some of my favorite products. The Milani Supercharged Under Eye Tint. This stuff, like, <laughs> really brightens up my under eyes. Because I look very dead in the under, under my eyes. Just, I look dead in the morning. I look very dead without makeup on my just because I'm tired, but. Alright. Time to go through the fun drawer. This is all my creative makeup stuff. This is the one I'm mostly worried about. So I'm definitely keeping my NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft. Is it this? I think yeah, Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse. This stuff is amazing. I don't know. It just really gives me that fun look. And yes, I know you're thinking it's orange, but it's a fun look. It's not. I'm not really going natural when I go through my videos. And then I'm keeping the Pierre Louise Cosmetic Base. This stuff is hype it for a reason. It's good. I am definitely keeping this Stila palette here. I got this at Walmart and look at this. Like, look how pretty that is. So, so beautiful. Like, I, just, I love it. Um, I feel like I keep saying that. Now... I have this Milani kit here that I think I'll keep for a bit longer. I may not keep it for much longer, but I'll keep it for a bit longer. I do like this palette, so. And uh, iHeartRevolution she came out with a good collection of their, their Cocoa Pebbles. This is the best highlighter. Like, just, here, let me show you. Look at how pigmented that is. Ooh, so pretty. I know, I, I say some weird stuff. I'm sorry. I am definitely keeping all my stencils I use for my looks. Keeping all that. That's going to stay over here. I think I will get rid of these face tools. I never use them. And I don't know why I have them. I don't plan, I don't plan on using them. I am going to get rid of these ball flosses. Again, I don't really use them. Let's see here. I am going to probably get rid of this glitter primer. It is not my favorite. I, I am keeping my favorite one. I'll show you that one in a minute. Um, I'm keeping my NYX special effects palette. Just because it's the staple. Makeup, so I have a buxom lip plumper that I'm keeping. I don't know where it is. 
to show you. Let's look at that. Buxton has some really good lip products. I think I'm gonna get rid of my color, my blue mascara, my ColourPop one. Even though, yes, I love ColourPop, I really don't use it too often. And then I am getting rid of this uh, body glitter from Wet n Wild. Again, don't really use it. I am keeping my mixing medium, and I'll show you all my glitters here in a second. So I'm gonna need that. I have three different glitters here. Three different glitters. I am definitely keeping all these. I am probably gonna get rid of the uh, Wet n Wild mascara, or the mascara, it's not mascara, lip gloss, because I don't really need it, and I don't use it. I am gonna keep my lash glue. Well, and just in case, you know, I feel like doing something fancy. So, and keeping my glue. Obviously, I'm keeping that. Um, I, this is some brow highlighter. Wait, let me show you. I don't have any products on my brow, so that shouldn't be too hard. Oh my goodness. It shouldn't be too hard to open. I'm gonna horribly outline my brows, okay? blend it in. Like, it kind of lifts up your brows. Is the brows are a little more lifted. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely keeping that. Whoa. So, my favorite glitter primer is this NYX Pigment Primer. This primer definitely gives you the pigment you want in your glitter. Now, I am definitely keeping this NYX Glitter Gold Liquid um, Eyeshadow. And especially when you pair it with your, uh, your that NYX Pigment. It, it really stands out, so. And then I'm gonna, um, I bought two of these. I think I'm gonna keep the gold one because the blue one, it's not bad. It's just not like my favorite. So I think I'm gonna get rid of the blue one, but I'm gonna keep the gold one because this one's like really pretty. So. And now I'll put all this back. I probably shouldn't put the stencils on there first, but put all this back. I still have a lot in this drawer. It's okay. And that's all I have for you guys today. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on Saturday with an update on at-home coffee.